evening, sir. Here we go. Good evening, sir. Good evening. Good evening, sir. Coming on time, you're very punctual. Being punctual is the characteristic, one of the qualities of a leader, being punctual, being on time. So thank you for coming on time. So we're continuing the story of um, John the Baptist and Jesus, as we discussed yesterday, as we talked about it yesterday. Um, John the Baptist was baptizing people, and then he said, one far more powerful than me is coming. I am not fit to even tie or untie his shoes. And he will baptize you with the Holy Spirit and with fire. He preached the good news of the promised Messiah who would allow all mankind to see God's salvation. And then, one day, to John's surprise, dun -da -da -dun -da -da -dun -da -da -dun, the Messiah came. <laughs> Too many dramatic uh, sound effects? Sorry. Lord, he says, it's you, isn't it? Yes, it's me. Thank God, Steve. All this time, and it's you. Wait, what are you doing? He says, what do you want me to do? It is you who should baptize me. John, says Jesus, it should be this way. We should fulfill all righteousness. And so, he says, John, even though Jesus doesn't have to be baptized because baptism symbolizes being washed uh, clean from all our sins. And Jesus doesn't have any sin, but he says, I have to do it anyway. And heaven itself opened and the Holy Spirit took on the physical form of a dove after John baptized Jesus. He dunked him under the water and then he pulled him up above the water. And then the Holy Spirit in the physical form of a dove, or maybe it was just a vision of a dove. And then there is a voice from heaven saying, this is my beloved son. In him, I am well pleased. Thank you, John, said Jesus. You're welcome, Jesus. This is him, says John. This is the one I spoke of. The one after me, whom I said was greater than me, because he was also before me, said John. And now, let's read. Jesus is baptized. We have a few hands raised up, don't we? Yes, we do. We'll start with... Um, always a lot of volunteers. Sera, read the first part, since you're on top. Ready, Sarah? Yes, sir. All right. Yes, sir. John the Baptist. Jesus is baptized. Jesus is baptized. While John has preaching and baptizing people in the Jordan River, Jesus came for, from his hometown of Nazareth to be baptized as well. But John said, you should baptize me, yet you are wanting me to baptize you. Jesus replied, do what I have asked for, I must do everything. That is right, then John baptized Jesus as Jesus came up out of the water. Heaven was open. The Spirit of God came down on Jesus like a dove. And a voice said from heaven, this is my son, whom I love and with whom I am very pleased. Thank you, Sarah. Why do you... Eat your microphone when you read. <laughs> oh, there's a lot of noise. Okay. Uh, we have uh, Shama, Shama hasn't read for a while. Shama, can you read this part? Why did Jesus ask to be baptized? Why did Jesus ask to be baptized? By being baptized, people show that they have asked God to forgive their sins and have decided to live a life that is pleasing to God. John baptized the people by de dipping them under the water, in, in this case, in the Jordan River. It is easy to see why John thought it wasn't right for him, an ordinary man, to baptize Jesus who is sinless, because Jesus had never sinned. He didn't need to re repent for his sin and be baptized. Yet, this was the start of Jesus' ministry. And he wanted to obey the law of God in every way, even if it meant doing what was accepted 
expected. expected for sinners. Three years later on the cross, Jesus took our sin on himself. Although he was perfect, he died in our place as if he had done wrong. From then on, the law, the written rules of God that condemned us as sinners was fulfilled, kept by Jesus. And because his spirit now lives in us, it is as if we have kept every part of the law as well. Romans 8, 1 to 4. Jesus kept the law for our part. That is why God sees us as perfect. Hebrews 10, 12 and 14. Let's read the verse for today. Ready? Go. Do not think that Do not think that I will come to the Yes, so the point oh, yeah. is why did Jesus have to be baptized? I mean, baptism represents, you know, uh, when you repent of your sins, you get baptized. Um, it's like water washing away your sins. And uh, there are some other symbolic meanings of baptism, but that's what John um, preached about. Yeah. That's what yeah. he was doing. He told people, repent of your sins, be washed away by this water and do not sin anymore. That was, that was what John did in the wilderness. But Jesus never sinned. See, he never sinned. He was perfect. And why did he have to be baptized? If he was sinless that's why john is like uh, what what are you doing it's you who should be baptizing me me not me baptizing you but jesus said before i start my ministry it was the beginning of his ministry the start of his ministry he said i have to obey the law in every way even if it meant doing what was expected of sinners even though he's not a sinner he said i'll just i have to do it and and that's going to be the beginning of his ministry especially when the holy spirit in the form of a dove appeared and um, fall it fell on jesus right yeah it came down on jesus not fell on jesus sorry <laughs> imagine a dove a dove phew, fell on jesus it came down on jesus slowly like this yes that's a dove too in anishia's logo uh dove represents peace so i have a question okay Janine, do. did jesus know that he's son of god before he baptized or like after he baptized i do not know he was human so many people say that this is the moment when you know um the human jesus and the holy god you know uh the spirit god the spirit and jesus when they reunited some people say that this was the moment i do not know okay say that when the holy spirit in the form of dove came down on jesus that's when jesus actually remembered that he was the son of god did he remember that he was the son of god when he was a little baby well if he were god and he knew that and he remembered that then he would be able you know to say things and to speak things and do miracles as he was a baby i do not know okay it's it's something that we cannot really know for sure but we can maybe try to guess and that's what some people who study the bible that's what they say probably when the holy spirit in the form of dove came down on Jesus, Jesus remembered and understood everything. Before that, he kind of had some guesses and ideas on his own. He knew that he is the son of God because his mother probably told him and said, Jesus, like an angel came and told me this and this and this. He knew the story of how he was born. And he was sinless even before uh, the Holy Spirit came down on him. It's a very difficult question. Something that doesn't really it's just curious i understand your curiosity i'm curious about it too but it doesn't change our life that much does it <laughs> anybody else okay so. yeah i do not know if 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 i yeah i do not know myself yeah. nobody knows for sure we can just guess anybody else has good questions no Anybody has bad questions? 
Yes. You always have bad questions. I know that. <laughs> like, do we have a cutie club at 9 p.m.? <laughs> that was a bad question. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, sir. I, was, oh, I got late. That's yeah. why I asked it. Misha, do you have another question? <laughs> yes, sir. What is it? Another bad question. Here we go. No, 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 no. I uh, just Jesus and John is kind of like brothers, right? Cousins. Cousins, yeah. Relatives. So, do each other know that? Do they know each? Did they know each other? Yeah. Do they know they are cousins? I'm sure they do know. You know, back then there were no phones, there were no TVs. They just they just told stories of their you know relatives and other stories of things that happened around them. And the story about Elizabeth and uh, Zechariah, parents of John, probably they told it a billion times to each other. So Jesus knew who John was, and John knew who Jesus was. Of okay, so that's my question. I do not know how much time they spent together as they were growing up. We do not know. Maybe so I have another question. Okay, John, you do another question. Did Jesus have brothers? I mean, his own brothers? He, he had brothers, but those brothers were actual children of both Mary and Joseph. Joseph and Mary had some children of their own. Jesus was the son of God uh, before even Mary and Joseph got married, right? He was born of a virgin. So, but Jesus was the only one who was born from Mary and Joseph. Isn't it? Joseph? A handsome ass dog, I guess. What? What? Kind of a dog in handsome ass video. That's a bad question. Yes, Atara. So Mary and Joseph only had one day, one child, no. Mary and Joseph, children. Okay, here, here we go. Listen, after Jesus was born, then Mary and Joseph had children of their own because Jesus was the son of God from Mary, but not Joseph. Jesus and Joseph were not related because Mary had a child before she got married with Joseph. An angel appeared and said, you will give a birth to a boy. Called Jesus. You know, you know, you study science, right? A seed, you need a seed yeah. of a man and uh, an egg of a woman. And that's how the baby is born. Where there was no seed of a man. There was a whole yeah. was and Mary. And that's what happened. He is the son of God, not the son of Joseph. But then later, Mary and Joseph, they had other children. And one of their children was, uh, uh, what's his name? James. And he wrote the book in the Bible. James it is. Because uh, somebody sent me a message, stop teaching about biology. Oh, my goodness. I'm not teaching biology. I'm explaining how it worked. And James was the brother of Jesus. And he himself, you know, it's difficult for brothers and sisters to believe that their own brother is the son of God. But just a second, James, he realized that Jesus wasn't just a normal human being, even though they had their doubts, they understood that Jesus was the son of God and he, he was God himself. And he wrote a book. It's in the Bible. It's called the book of James. Even though his real name was not James, but Jacob, probably Jacob, but they changed it to James. Jacob. Yes, in, in Sinhala, it's probably Jacob or something like that. But Daddy. in English, it's James. In the New Testament, James. somewhere Jacob. at the end. Jacob. He was yeah. the brother of Jesus. Uh, 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 we have, Jesus, we're running Jesus out of time. Also... The last question, Nisha, make sure it's a good one. The last question. It's me. not a question. So I was just asking to make it sure. So didn't Jesus also call the disciples uh, my brothers? Well, that's a different thing because we all have one father in heaven. We're all children of God. 
And that makes you and me a brother and a sister. We, you are all my brothers and sisters because we, we are all children of God. Yes, I'm a child of God. Even though I don't look like one, I'm a child of God. <laughs> and you are too. And that makes us brothers and sisters. So I can say, hey, brother Ayendra, or hey, sister Pinidi, because we're all children of God. And you can call me brother too. A brother Hi, from, from another school. mother, but same <laughs> father, you know. No, no, that's good. Don't call me sir, call me brother David from now on. No, 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 no. we are calling you sir. You are teaching us something. Yes, Pini you want to pray? You want to pray? No, no. That's okay, who's going to pray for us today? I see Tor Virginia, her hand is up. No. Can you do then? Can you do your hands up? Okay, sir. Thank you very much. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for this beautiful day, Lord. Thank you for helping us to meet like this, Lord. And thank you for protecting us, guiding us, and taking care of us. And thank you for doing everything for us, Lord. And help us to believe in you, Lord. And help us not to be busy to learn you word lord and as the song said you are so faithful lord and help us to be faithful to lord and help us to take our sins away and lord help us to love you more in jesus name i pray amen thank you Jane, for wonderful prayer good night everyone i'll see you tomorrow at school okay sir bye see you at night bye bye